Subaru is... They are fighting for the podium, seems like, for the number five car. They are struggling so much in, in, the, in the final race. They do, they do always a good job at the qualifying, but for the final, they did not finish ever this season yet. So if they finish today at this position, and now they're fighting for P3, that would be a big, big, huge, huge step for them. So now we have the battle between the Dunlops of the Subaru car and the Yokohama of Team Maha with the Hachiroku MC. I believe there are so many fans of Subaru all over the world. We see so many driving on the street. Oh, on the straight. The wow, did you see that? The straight speed? of the number five car, Mahashaken. That was fast. Looks like the MC cars, they are fast on the straight. But it happens to be that the Subaru is fast on the, in the corners. So that's, that's, you know, where you take the balance. That is going to be quite a tough, tough battling, overtaking of both sides. We still have five laps to go, but now there's a 500 car in between. Okay, here we are back with the 500 leader, Sekiguchi. Nice driving. What's the gap now? It's still five seconds, 5.4 seconds. of a battle for P2 now. Do the two Toms make it one, two, or it will be the Wacos in between. The Wacos car, the number six Wacos, six Wacos car, they have been, they have been performing very good in, in you know, uh, the, oh! Here we have the 300s, disturbing, disturbing the battle, and T, Nick, he goes, there's another, there's another 300 car. How did you, do you use it? Yes, and Nick got it. That was beautiful. That's Super GT, the 500 classes, you know, you have to use the 300 cars correctly. And you are in front. Now he's back on to P2 again. Oh, look at that. You, you, don't, you don't get to see this often. Hirakawa. He's, he's usually, you know, the cool guy. He doesn't do this actions. But wow, that was... <laughs> I, I mean, it was, it was pretty impressive. Nice overtaking. Good job, Nick. So, now be careful because the pace, Oshima's pace is still good. But for now, Nick has the better pace, looks like. But just, really just a slight tiny bit, just 0.23 seconds, so. Wow, that is, that is a close fight. Here we have a big, big gap now. The 96 card, that was, am I, am I having a deja vu? I think that happened last year too. Last year they won it like that too. The 96 car, I think they, they must be. I mean, next time I will call them, I don't know, King of King of Suzuka Circuit. Or <laughs> wow, they're so strong on this on this track. But wait, if they win this time, it's the second pod. It's the second win of the season already. Wow. That doesn't happen often, you know, you, you have weights and you have all these uh, restrictions everywhere. The, the weight handicap is usually should be uh, 
making a difference, but now here we have the 300 class NSX cars battling. Oh, here it's a battle of Takagi and Otsu, so another, you know, well, well um, experienced driver, Takagi versus a more younger driver, Otsu. Takagi co coming from the back. Uh, looking back at the Fuji race, I don't know where he came from, but the last lap, he all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, came from the back like a rocket and did so many overtakes that was super quick. So Takagi is still there. His speed is still there. Now trying to get P6. As time flies, we only have three laps to go. Three laps to go. This is a sprint race. Are you feeling this sweat in my hands? This is everything. Like so many, so many, so many overtaking scenes everywhere on the track. Oh, and he didn't overtake. He did it. He just did it. Takagi P6 now. Let's go back to the 500s. That's a battle for B5. It's the Calsonic GDR and the Denso LC500. 12 car and 39 car. Sasaki Daiki and Nakayama fighting for B5. Calsonic, they are, you know, whole out throughout the whole season showing some good performances constantly in the past few years they had some ups and downs but this year it looks good i think the package is really nice and also having james as a new you know partner brings some new breeze into the team and he, he really wanted it. He really wanted to come back to Super GT. So he didn't hesitate when he got the offer. He said, James Roster, good to have you back. And now it's Sasaki Daiki driving. Oh, Nakayama, did you just hit the 88 car? But I think that was not too hard. It was okay. It was just, uh, you know, a bump. Nakayama getting closer. Kayama is pushing, pushing pretty hard. Almost tail to tail to nose. And we are already in the final lap, are we? We are in the final lap. Oh my god, so many, you know, so many battles happening everywhere. You just get lost and get, you know, lost of track in time and wow. This is the leader, the current leader of the 500 class, Hekiguchi. You have a gap of almost 8 seconds to the behind car. And you're almost there, almost there. How is he smiling? How is your beard? How is your beard doing? This is some beautiful race. <gasps> no! No! Why is the 12th car stopping? What is happening? Again, the Calsonic car in the final lap. Something happened and he is pulling over to the side. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, but here is the leader. AU Thomas the LC 500. Sekiguchi Yuhi. You are almost back. 130R. Going down, going down. There you go. Here's going into the final chicane. Wow, that was beautiful. Beautiful. And back to the home straight. Seki Gucci is the winner of the Suzuka round. Wow. Amazing. And we have we have Nick Cassidy.
City on P2 with Keeper Toms and the number six car on P3, Wako Zero C500 with Oshima. Ooh, it's a, it's a Lexus day and did not, did not make it. The ART ANSX, the eight car, couldn't catch up on that. All right, so it's a matter of the 500. Is Matsui going to keep P2? Obviously, the 96 car. K Tunes Racing, Sakaguchi Sena, having a huge gap to the car behind, is making his way into the chicane. Wow, no pressure from behind. No pressure at all from behind. And this is the winner of the 300 class. Congratulations. Ooh, this must feel good. And is Matsui going to block it? It's only the chicane. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Matsui, what did you do? That was the last chicane. And it is the five car. Mahahachiroku MC. And on P3, Subaru BRZ. That was a bit of luck, I guess. Why did the 25 car stop? Why? That was another how many meters? The last few meters, he didn't make it. That's a shame. Wow, so much happening today again, and look at him. Congratulations, everybody. Give him a big, big, big applause. Again, this 36 car, AU Thomas LC 500, Sekiguchi Yuhi, and here the winner for the 300 class. It's k -Tunes RCF GT3, Sakaguchi got the checkers flag. Wow. What a race. A beautiful, clean, but mm, pretty hard on the tires. But, I mean, look look at all, all these debris. Ooh. Okay, this is the winning run. Beautiful job, beautiful job. So now we do have the one-two finish of the Tom's cars, I guess. That's quite a history. They did make history. That was 20 years ago. 20 years ago they did it, and now they did it again. Wow, Sekiguchi, beautiful pole to win. Congratulations. So we will have all the cars uh, coming back to the home straight and lining up. He will obviously need to park in front of the P1 plate, which is uh, in front of the main stand, of in front of the main grandstand. They will park the cars, looking in the direction of the fans. Congratulations, welcome back, and we have Nakajima coming from behind. Winner of last week's Super Formula and this week's Super GT. Congratulations. This director, Ito Daisuke. 